Rosie here from rosiepena.com, a sewing and lifestyle blog. Welcome back to my channel and hello to any new subscribers that I have. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the fabrics that I picked up for Black Friday. So I have a stack here that I'm going to share with you guys, and I'm also going to talk to you about some of my sewing plans for the month of December. If you guys are interested in seeing all the fabrics that I picked up, and if you guys want to see my sewing plans for December, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so the first two fabrics that I picked up are these knit fabrics, and I just went ahead and grabbed them both together because they have the same color theme on them. I picked up this blue stable knit fabric, and I've actually gotten every single colorway of this fabric so far because I love it so much. So I made like two or three different Chloe sweatshirts with this fabric, but I have a different idea this time around. But this is a fabric that I picked up. This one here is like a really deep navy blue and it has these really pretty speckles of like little white fabric pieces in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I just really love this style. And the actual material feels really high quality and really nice against the body as well. So that's the reason why I love this fabric so much and I went ahead and picked up two yards of this. And then like I said, I also picked up the same fabric but I got it in a black. So I do usually tend to stick to really darker colors. That's just kind of my aesthetic. I do really love like browns and neutrals as well. But for some reason this time I just picked up a lot of blacks and a lot of blues. So again, this is that same fabric but I just picked it up in the black color. And the really great thing about this one as well is I did pre-wash it and it doesn't seem to have faded very much. But the reason that you pre-wash is to get rid of all the dyes and kind of the stuff that you don't want rubbing against your body. So that definitely came out with the pre-wash but it didn't take all the color along with it. So this is a really great um, knit fabric. So if you guys have a Joann's near you might want to see if they have some more in stock as well. I think it's just a really great versatile fabric that you can sew so many different things. So what I actually want to sew with one of those two fabrics is this Stella hoodie. So this is a Stella hoodie pattern. So I think you can buy it as a single but it also comes in this book as well. So this is a Tilly and the Buttons stretch book. It says make yourself comfortable sewing with knit fabric. By the time I picked up this book I definitely already had tons of experience with working with stretch fabrics. Those are kind of the fabrics that I tend to stick to more often just because they're really comfortable to wear and I love sewing with them. Um, but I did want to go ahead and just pick up this book because I love Tilly. She's very descriptive. Um, and I figured I would learn a few little more tidbits about sewing with knits that I hadn't picked up before. But I do really think this book is definitely more for the beginner sewer. So if you're new to sewing in general, you will love Tilly and the Buttons books because she really speaks to the absolute beginner. She really breaks everything down for you to where you don't have any questions left. So that's the great thing about the Tilly and the Buttons books. So if you're interested in working with knits, this would be a really great book for you. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description bar below just in case you're interested. But like I said, the pattern that I really want to sew up is the Stella hoodie. So I just love how casual and trendy this pattern looks all in one. It does seem to be very simple. It just has like a little inset along the hoodie, so that shouldn't be too tricky. But everything else, as far as the lines on the side, it does look like it has a little drop shoulder. Um, but nothing too tricky. It does even have a kangaroo pocket along the front. Um, and I'm excited to sew that up. And I think I'm going to actually choose the navy fabric. So I'm definitely going to choose this navy fabric so I can sew my Stella hoodie. Okay, so this next fabric that I picked up is definitely something really great for the season. So we're getting into the winter season. And every time I look at style magazines or just anything that has to do with winter, you're always going to find a plaid or a check fabric. So I definitely knew that I had to pick up at least a few yards of some check fabric and that's exactly what I did. I got two yards of this amazing twill type of a fabric. It basically has the feel of like a structured denim um, and I went ahead and picked up two yards of this. Hopefully you guys can see it on camera. It does just really have like a really deep navy blue as well as some white and then a different kind of a hint of a blue in there as well. So originally I had a Rosie Pena Patterns crystal coat in mind for this. So after playing around and feeling with it a little bit more, I actually thought I wanted to make a pair of trousers out of this. And I watched Rosa's video. So Rosa is another YouTuber that talks about sewing and sewing plans. She recently talked about the Seamwork Danny pattern. So whenever I saw her talk about that pattern, I immediately fell in love with it and I knew I had to sew one for myself. So with this fabric, I really want to make the Danny pinafore dress. So the thing that really spoke to me about this pattern was the deep V at the front. I think it's just really pretty and definitely very fashionable and on trend and also kind of like the loose fit to it. Um, it doesn't look too fitted to the body. It doesn't look like it's going to be uncomfortable, but it's not very oversized either. So it looks like it's going to be really, really flattering. So like I said, I saw Rosa talk about it on her channel, and I'll go ahead and link that video below so you guys can check it out as well. She's super awesome. She has tons of sewing videos. She definitely does always sew very fashionable things. But this is a Danny pattern. I'm so excited to sew it up. 
and I'm actually new to sewing seam work patterns. I have not sewn any of their patterns before, so this is the first pattern that I'm going to try out from them. And really lately, I've just been really inspired by indie patterns in general. I haven't really been sewing very many commercial patterns lately, and I think it's just because I really want to support other independent pattern designers out there. Most of them are women owned, and I think it's just really important to kind of support the women and support the community. So I really want to just kind of branch out and sew other indie patterns as well. So that's the reason why I wanted to pick up this seamwork pattern also. So if you guys have any indie pattern recommendations, go ahead and leave them for me in the comments below. I would love to see which ones are your favorites, which ones you sew most often, and which ones that you would recommend. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get around to sewing one of these pinafore dresses in this gorgeous fabric. I am going to have to pick up some lining, but I think I'll order that online. Okay, so the last few fabrics that I have actually don't have any plans for them. So if you see them and you think of a pattern immediately, go ahead and tell me below and I'll definitely be open to checking that out as well. So I don't have any plans for this, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, actually a pretty high price. So this is a really, really gorgeous knit fabric that I picked up as well. Like I said, all the fabrics that I picked up have like a blue tint to them or they're just black. Uh, I'm not sure what was going on when I went in there, but I just felt like having a theme of colors to pick up and work with for the month of December. So this month is very much blacks and blues. So I believe this is the ITY knit, but it has like a really gorgeous herringbone print to it. It's another type of a fabric that I think looks really great in the winter. So I actually saw this fabric another time when I went to Joanne Fabric but it was really overpriced, I thought. It was like $27 a yard. But whenever I went in, it was for the Black Friday sale, so I decided to go ahead and splurge on this one. So this is probably actually the highest priced fabric that I picked up. I'm not sure how much I ended up paying for it a yard, but I did pick up two yards of this, um, and I don't have anything planned for this. The last time I sewed with the herringbone print, I actually made a heather dress from Sew Over It, but again, I'm not really sure what I wanna make this time with it. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. It does have a really good stretch to it as well, um, and it does feel pretty stable. It might even be able to take a zipper. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions, I am open to them. So the next fabric that I picked up, um, actually my daughter picked it out. I had my youngest daughter with me who is five years old, and she every time I go down the aisle, she kind of just runs her hands across the fabric, and this one spoke to her. <laughs> So whenever I saw it, um, I kind of fell in love with it as well. So this is basically just a sheer chiffon type of a fabric, but the really interesting thing about it and the reason why it probably kind of caught her attention is it has these textured little dots on it. Um, so it just has these really pretty little textured dots. It might even be a little flower print. Um, so yeah, I thought this was really cool and different. I'm not really sure what I would sew with this at the moment. So this is another project that is kind of up in the air. But I did pick up two yards of it just because it is a really pretty fabric and anytime I feel a chiffon it really just feels very um, kind of like just polyester and it doesn't feel very durable and sturdy. But I'm not sure if this one because it has a little dot texture on there as well it kind of adds a little bit more structure to it. So if you guys have any suggestions for this one definitely let me know as well. And I did pick up two yards of it. I think it would make a really gorgeous kimono or something that's really nice and soft and flowy. Okay, so the last fabric that I picked up is this denim fabric. So every time I go in there, their denim section really speaks to me. I just love their denims in there. So it's a really lightweight denim and it has these really cute little dots in there as well. So for some reason this time I was really into dots and blues and blacks. Um, so I did pick up this one as well and I picked up two yards also. That's kind of just like my minimum. If I love a fabric, I'll get at least two yards. If I really love it, definitely three yards. So that's a little tip for you guys. If you're ever at the fabric store and you love a fabric but you're not sure how much to pick up, I usually find between two to three yards to be a good amount. Um, you can really make almost most things with at least two to three yards. Unless it's a really massive pattern, kind of like our Juanita jumpsuit, you need at least three yards for that one. Usually you can get away with getting at least two to three yards depending on your size. Um, so I went ahead and picked up two yards of this lightweight denim. Like I said, those little dots were just so cute. So yeah, those are the two things that I have planned already for the month of December. I'm sure I'll add a few more in there. Um, definitely with these fabrics that I have, I definitely want to sew them up by the end of the month. But I am definitely going to sew a Stella hoodie dress and I'm going to use this dotted sweatshirt fabric. And then I have to definitely sew a Danny pinafore dress from Seamwork Patterns. And I'm going to use this gorgeous check fabric that I picked up. Like I said, I just fell in love with that deep V at the front. I think it's so fashion forward. I'm probably going to pair it on the top underneath it. So I'll most likely sew a white on the top to pair underneath this just because the deep V at the front is a little revealing. But I think that's the idea with this pinafore dress is to be a layering piece, but you can definitely wear things however you feel 
you want to. The way I would style this personally is just with a plain white kind of shirt underneath, especially with this back. So yeah, you guys, that is all I have planned for the month of December. Again, let me know in the comments below your favorite indie patterns. Like I said, I've been trying to at least sew two or three projects a month from patterns that are not my own. So if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them for me below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.